This week, a mob stormed the United States Capitol, smashing their way inside, looting the center of American democracy, and killing a Capitol police officer, all in the name of the sitting U.S. president. We've never seen a week like this one, and we're all trying to understand what it means to move forward. Morgan Lyon Cotty from the Hinckley Institute of Politics here to help us break it down this morning. Good morning, Morgan. Thanks for being here. Good morning. As a political scientist studying this moment, how, how surprised are you right now? You know, it's one of those things that is shocking, but probably shouldn't be too surprising. We have seen the rhetoric. We have seen, um, honestly, really open dialogue and discussion on social media channels and other places that something like this could happen. I think the images still seem so surreal that perhaps we just didn't think they could. But, um, you know, it's, it's a sacred building for many people in this country. And if you've been to that capital and you've taken that tour, you've heard the stories about the War of 1812, you've heard the stories about um, Union soldiers being in the capital as it was used for a hospital in the Civil War. So this should be a shocking moment for all Americans. Absolutely. In the president's latest statement just last night, he calls for a peaceful transfer of power, acknowledges Biden will be president, but somehow manages to still not quite concede the election. How significant is it moving forward that the president and really millions of Americans don't acknowledge or feel that we had a fair election? This is something that our country is going to struggle with for a while, and I don't think we'll know the full domestic or really international impact um, for some time. And this is something that is incumbent upon our leaders, both national and local, to uh, focus on um, healing that rift. The trust in institutions is really what holds up a government. It is really what keeps people following the rules and turning out to vote and doing all of those things. So, you know, as Mitt Romney likes to say, turning down the temperature, focusing um, on what is factual and accurate will be an important thing for our leaders to do. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, Romney has been a, a, a key piece in this. He's been very vocal. Can we move now to Mike Pence saying the 25th Amendment off the table? Now members of Congress are actively drawing up articles of impeachment. Is it possible to impeach a president in 12 days? Is this realistic? Well, I mean, as politics has shown us, unfortunately, anything is possible these days. But I, I expect that this language might calm down. But who knows? You know, the Congress certainly could impeach the president again in the next 12 days. The likelihood that the Senate would convict is extremely low. So, um, you know, we, we once again would have that impeachment without really any action, without a removal uh, of the president from office. Mm -hmm. A lot of Republican lawmakers have, have really courted Trump voters. What mm -hmm. happens now for the Republican Party? You know, I think over the next year or so, we are going to see some pretty high profile footage of those people who are arrested uh, because of what happened on Wednesday at the Capitol. We'll see their trials. And I, I expect that a lot of uh, the political opinion of this issue um, will shift and perhaps we will see um, that toning down of the rhetoric and people will realize how uh, destructive some of this messaging was and we will see a distancing from that. It's always interesting, a lot of these elected officials, especially the senators, they've got these six year terms. And so by the time their next election rolls around, we're living in a different world and the focus might be on something completely different. Mm -hmm. That's a great point, those term lengths. Can we just briefly, we only have a few seconds left, going back to kind of our trust in government, do you have any suggestions, recommendations, maybe for us as the public, for the, the leaders who are trying to regain that trust? You know, making sure you're watching the news, watching your local news, reading the newspapers, uh, making sure that you are informing yourself and not trusting just one source or one individual for your source and recognizing that government is usually working. Look at your city councils, look at your state government, um, look at certain sections of your federal government. Um, the, these institutions have been around for a long time and hopefully that trust in them can be rebuilt. We're speaking with Morgan Lyon Cotty from the Hinckley Institute of Politics this morning, helping us break down this tumultuous week. Morgan, thank you so much. We appreciate your insight. Thank you.